In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So he, he called out her baby in front of the world. If a vape get in there, I would love to see him rock out and do what he's supposed to do. But can he get the job done? And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Chris, I'm going to use this time because it's actually about you in the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Answer the question. Go. He this said go. <laughs> this is how we get our country back. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I, I have never in my life, not even Trump has done what I've just witnessed at the debate. Yeah, I heard him, right? He said, not even Trump has done what he has witnessed Vivek at the debate. That's because Vivek is v Vivek is sneaky with it, man. He's very quick-witted, young guy, so much daggone. I don't know, man. He's smart as hell. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. I like him too, man. I don't know, but I know this is going to piss a lot of you Trump supporters off, but at the end of the day, I like Vivek, man. I like Trump too, but I like Vivek. But Vake Ramaswamy moved down to about third place for me, and Ron DeSantis was two. Donald Trump was ranked number one. For Vake Ramaswamy, at the clip I'm gonna show you, jumped all the way up to neck and neck with Donald Trump in my book. This is the baddest, uh, I would say, beat down and, and, and lecture and call out I have ever seen in politics. I have never seen somebody whoop people like this. It was so bad, and I'm gonna show it to you. It was so I I was cringing. I almost walked out of the the work. I almost walked out of my podcast studio because he was whooping them so bad. I, I feel bad for I want to go give Ronald McDonald a hug. Anyway, y'all got to watch. Just it. cut it off. Hey, hey, Lester. If Lester Holt's family really love him, they will tell him just go bald, bro. Go bald. Man, just cut it off, man. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, man. Just, <laughs> all right. Watch this. If you hadn't seen the vague spanking he did, watch the film. Swami, let me turn to you. Uh, please. Let me turn to you. That's not a good idea, my, my homie. Make your case. Why would you, uh, why should you be the nominee and not the former president? I think there's something deeper going on in the Republican Party here. And I am upset about what happened last night. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We have a cancer in the Republican establishment. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronald McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC, in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020, 2022, no red wave that never came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that matter, Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will turn over my, yield my time to you. Ding, ding, ding. That's one knockout. He's absolutely right, though, man. Y'all need to stop BSing and, um, and back up your words. Y'all need to get a better feel of what's going on out there. Like, do you really have your finger on the pulse of what these people want i think y'all need to get a better feel of what people want because there's no way that y'all keep on losing all of these races if you understand what the people are looking for i get it everybody is so liberal right now and so ridiculous in their desires and what they're demanding like it makes no sense like they are the reason why these gates are bringing in millions and millions of freaking illegal immigrants so sometimes you don't want to get a people what they want i get it we need a better feel of what they want because these red waves that y'all be building up acting as if that the conservative party is about to start winning like crazy it's a lie clearly you hear Vivek right now he's trying to clear this up man he's upset about it he said come on stage and resign tonight i give you my time come on come on Vivek come on get the let's run it up and frankly look the people there are cheering for losing in the republican party think about who's moderating this debate this should be tucker carlson joe rogan and elon musk Ooh. we got 10 times the viewership he he stomped on the people who are moderating the debate. What did they do, man? They just got a job. Look, they, this is a big, listen, they called me to moderate the debate and I think I'm doing a good job. Why are you going to poop on me and talk about you should have Joe Rogan or Tucker Carlson? That's that's wrong, Vivek. That's that's wrong. Asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. That's another one. You think the Democrats, I and mean, we've got Kristen Welker here, you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Kristen, I'm going to use this time because wow. it's actually about you in the media and the oh, corrupt media God. establishment Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Answer the question, go. Wow. Answer the question, go. Like he said, that was some, huh. answer the question, go. Sheesh. Oh. Mr. Jesus. Oh.
country back. We need accountability because this media rigged the 2016 See, I almost cried right there. election. Rigged the 2020 deserving. election with the Hunter Biden laptop story. Mr. And they're going to rig this election. Your time is up. Accountability. Let me turn to That's Governor, Governor Christie. Uh, we've talked about this. He just shut him down and said, let me turn to Governor Christie. This new campaign on TikTok. How do you get TikTok banned if you use it? Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually <gasps> using the app for a long time. So oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He called out her baby. He called out her baby in front of the world. He called out her baby girl in front of the world. How you going to tell me not to get on TikTok? But your whole family on TikTok doing TikTok family dances. He called out her baby girl right there, man. This dude is gangster. Hey, you know the videos where you got the where uh, you know Trump when Trump says something and then some black sun sunglasses shades go across his face and then you start saying na 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 na. It's the mother D O double G Snoop Dogg. That's some gangster stuff right there. Na 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 na. It's the mother Vivek Ramaswamy. That dude went gangster, man. I can't do it. He on here killing them, bro. He on here spanking them. God dang, Nikki Haley, what do you say to that? Might want to take care of your family first. Oh, you raise your your voice. Your adult daughter. Oh the my next God. Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my fun. God! <laughs> Listen, I know I said her baby, and I get that her baby is 25, but my babies are 26, 24, 21, and 18. No matter if they are 38, they will still be my babies. So when I said he hit her baby girl, I wasn't saying it like her baby girl is 13, her baby girl is 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I wasn't saying that. I didn't care about the age. But I thank y'all for pointing out. I just always call my kids my babies because they are and they will always be my babies. But the fact that he hit her smack in the mouth by pointing out her daughter doing the same thing. Yo, what you trying to say? <laughs> what you trying to say? You're the easy scum. answer is actually oh my to say God. that we can ban one app. We got to go further. We have to ban any U.S. company oh actually God. transferring U.S. data to the Chinese. Here's a story most people don't know. Airbnb. Nikki Haley's face is she is mad she is pissed look at nikki helly's face man i promise you she wants to she wants to punch him in the throat like i you if you ever know you look at a woman's face and she got that look on her face right there she she want to punch him in the throat as a matter of fact she probably meet him in the parking lot and get her husband to whoop his little ass to her husband probably meet vivek in the parking lot after this one right here and beat them beat the brakes off of him. hands over u.s user data to the the CCP. Now that's a US owned company. So this is the problem when you have Republicans that temporarily go the way the winds dang. blow and now it's popular to talk tough on China when she was UN ambassador, called them literally her words, not mine, our great friend. You can't be fair weather oh. fans of the right policy. Get to the root cause. <laughs> Even US companies in Silicon Valley are regularly doing it. Cut the virtue signaling. The fact of the matter is Democrats are on TikTok today. The only person, one of the few people who is putting up content the way the actual algorithms work, speaking for pro-Israel views or others, is ambassador me. Haley, um, more Republicans will join it. But uh, stop US companies from turning over data to Chinese companies. That's the real answer. Like uh, Christian, signal. don't get. Ramaswamy, are you persuaded by President? Hold on, I, that's a lot to digest right there. God dang, this is how you whoop people. Like I, I he moved down the list for me at first. That mean he back at the top. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I, it, it, Trump got a little bit of juice, but man, I like, I like Vivek. Man, he young, he enthusiastic, he's smart, he can articulate himself. Man, he would debate better, he would look better, he'll be more presidential than Trump would be. I'm just being honest. But can he will and deal, bruh? I don't think he can will and deal. That's what it's gonna take. I don't give a damn how well you articulate yourself. I don't care how well of an orator, orator you are. Like, at the end of the day, you got to know how to will and deal. You got to know how to make stuff move. You got to know how to get in there and make things happen. I don't care. Listen, he can say all the speeches he want. Guess who else was a great orator? orator? Barack Obama. Barack was a great orator. He can get up in front of people and give the best speech and be the smartest in the room and all this other stuff. What has he done? That's all I'm trying to say, man. I like him for the 
the fact that he's he's just hungry right now. He's doing everything he's supposed to do. Vivek realized that he was falling in the polls and he came there with a mission. He is smart. He understands what needs to be done in order to move up the ranks, in order to gain favor. Clearly, he's doing what he needs to do because Officer Tatum just moved him up from number three on his list to number one. That don't say anything to me. That just says that he's a great salesman. He's a great businessman. He know how to read the room. That's it. I give him much love for that. He got the gift of gab. So do I. That don't mean I know how to save the dang on planet. <laughs> Captain Planet. Vivek ain't Captain Planet yet, but he need to know how to will and deal. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I can possibly be wrong. Maybe it's all about just getting the job. I don't know. Maybe he can change the world more than anybody else because y'all have been saying that we need somebody younger. All right. And I would love to have somebody younger. If Vivek get in there, I would love to see him rock out and do what he's supposed to do. But can he get the job done? I mean, he moved up the charts. I was, he was sleeping on him. And then he came and started spanking people. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, the clip. Zelensky's urgent new plea. Where do you stand on more funds? I'm absolutely unpersuaded. And I'm actually enjoying watching the Ukraine Hawks quietly, delicately tiptoe back from their position as this thing has unwound into a disaster. The first half of this race, I was the only person standing for it. Now they're actually quietly coming around to being more cautious as they should. Level with the American people here. Ukraine is not a paragon of democracy. This is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. It has consolidated all media into one state TV media arm. That's not democratic. It has threatened not to hold elections this year unless the U.S. forks over more money. Mm. That is not democratic. Mm. It has celebrated a Nazi in its ranks, the comedian in cargo pants, a man called Zelensky, doing it in their own ranks. That is not democratic. Mm. More facts for you that you won't hear from the mainstream and either mm. party or the mainstream media. The regions of Ukraine that are occupied by Russia right now in the Donbass, Luhansk, Donetsk, these are Russian-speaking regions that have not even been part of Ukraine since 2014, that other people probably couldn't name those provinces for you. Those are the hard facts. And so to frame this as some kind of battle between good versus evil, don't buy it. And I'd like the likes of the, the sharpest of the war hawks on Ukraine, Nikki Haley, to have some accountability and answer. Do you <laughs> want to use US her out again. Money? to fund the banning of Christians. That is actually what's happening. They're using the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. They have banned them. The Ukrainian parliament just did this last week, supported by our dollars. And I think you owe it to the American people, Nikki, to at least this Mr. one time, at least condemn, thank you. That's time. At least Mr. condemn Ramaswamy, their thank banning you. of Christians. Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. Out of both sides Mr. Ramaswamy. She's still mad at him for talking about her daughter. <laughs> She's like, I'm not talking to you. You know how when you're driving in the car with, you're driving in the car with your wife, right? Y'all just had a nice night. Y'all had a good night, right? You driving in the car with your wife and y'all just had a nice night just now leaving dinner, but you said something silly or she caught you looking at somebody's ass because come on we're men i'm just talking to the men here can i just talk to the men ladies earmuffs earmuffs ladies earmuffs all right so men don't you know how when you ri ride down the street with your lady and you did something wrong and you said something wrong and you look over at her you got the music playing and everything you and your ride and she just looking out the daggone window she not paying no attention she's just looking out the opposite side of the window like she ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about like whatever whatever in word whatever just whatever he's trying to talk to her right now and she's looking the opposite away like I ain't listening to you. I ain't listening to nothing you talking about. You said something about my daughter. My feelings hurt. Could you imagine her having power over the red But I hate to say that man but look at her. She is pissed off because he said something about her daggone daughter on TikTok. And she started it by saying something about him on TikTok first. All he did was fight back. Ramaswamy thank you. We asked the question. Mr. Ramaswamy please. Mr. Ramaswamy stop spanking us please. <laughs> look at Nikki Haley man. These they women like this fold under pressure like a lawn chair. <laughs> I have to say that that Vivek and his approach tonight really gave a lot of credence to him being a strong voice. I think he kind of slowed down, but man, I like what he's saying. The man is making sense. He he remind me of Trump in 2016 when everybody else was fluff talking and he was straight, you know, punching facts. And this is what Vivek is doing. And let me say this because some of y'all ain't gonna like it. It's fine. You go watch the other videos you like. But I will say this: when it comes to debating, when it comes to having a voice 
voice, when it comes to somebody who can articulate himself, I honestly believe that Vivek Ramaswamy, and I'm saying this and I'm the first to say it, Vivek Ramaswamy is very much Obama-esque. And when I say that, I don't say Obama meaning he's a dark horse. I'm saying Obama meaning he has charisma, he's in touch with the younger people, he can articulate himself, he's very presidential, and he can debate the socks off of anybody. And Barack Obama, although he was a loser, in my opinion, he could do all of those things which made him more appealing to the people. People are not sitting here looking at policy positions as much as they're looking at charisma and if somebody can articulate themselves in a 30 second clip, people are going to be more digestible. It's going to be more digestible to the people. So I will say Vivek Ramaswamy has moved himself all the way up neck and neck with Donald Trump. To me, um, I think that Donald Trump has no choice if he wins to have Vivek be a part of his his can his cabinet, be, be the vice president. It, it is no doubt because I honestly think Vivek Ramaswamy is probably a, be a better presidential candidate in my opinion, based on his articulation of truth and facts and his business practices, at least are not going to get ran through the ringer like Donald Trump. So I don't agree with that part. I think that Vivek Ramaswamy would probably get a lot of looks because of all of the hate that people have for Trump. As you already know, there's going to be a bash. It's going to be bashing season. It's going to be open season on Trump. Everybody's going to be going in on him. If every trap that they've set up for Trump, they failed. They're still working on their next trap. They're working on their next one and their next one and their next one. They're, they're playing chess because they know that Trump will just destroy anybody that they bring to the table, period. And honestly, with all the people, with the people that they have running for president for the Democrats, you know what I mean? Uh, much love to you for the super chat. I really need, I really appreciate that. We need a survivor show with political candidates. Okay, that's <laughs> We need a survivor show with political candidates. I don't think that Vivek Ramaswamy will be a better Republican candidate than Trump. I don't think so.